this is part three of the balance drop leather with white compound and on this video we explain why when I drop on this drop the edge doesn't degrade from this to this for the normal when you drop and this thing this blue line is the drop surface whether or not I mean it's a uh, hard backing or soft backing in this case we're talking about because leather so they, therefore they're going to flex so if you drop normally when you go like so the inflection when you put down it bend and they will braid along this line here where the red is and when you go flip on the other side they will braid and the end result is that and what instead of a sharp you have a blunt and they call rounded or you know overly convex in other words mess up so let's explain why this drop will prevent that I got a bigger cut version of the uh, the knife edge here and this is the strap and when you put pressure on it it's still it's going to bend like so and this where the, the uh, problem is but now think this this think this brick is an abrasive whether or not aluminum oxide silicon carbide or diamond or or chromium oxide or you know, CBN it's going to the size for the size of the Y a compound is about 14 micron or so and plus or minus a few micron and he think of this is the face of the abrasive and I replaced the face abrasive with breakfast by three stick talk about the face of the abrasive that where it in contact with the blade and now when you have when you stack in a lot of these things, I mean, in terms of these are cross section, but there are a lot of them going on at the same time with the high density of, of these uh, abrasive. Then you have the old stagging, and they are all sign safe, but mainly the face is about this long, say, on average. But but if you average out, they all they go to have this same face length. About, I mean, not same face length, but you know, certain face length. In this case, say 14 nominal is uh, 14 micron. And so, now if you have this edge, and actually, as uh, you put pressure down, it cannot, the lever, or the back in here cannot, it, it cannot bend at the edge, because the face of the abrasive prevent it from doing that. And the one behind it, and also see they all stacking like so. And it will prevent it from, and flux upward so the only way for these for the back for the leather the back end go to influx upward at when the abrasive no longer block it which is somewhere out here away from the actual edge or I estimate about half the face or so and that means where the abrasive can actually influx upward so in essence, because of that, if you give it a half length of the face, and therefore you move the, the inflection point, excuse me, You move the inflection point half point away from the the edge. So as the abrasive go by, it it doesn't got the upward bending effect. It have to go all the way to here, and finally, they didn't been blocked by other abrasive before that. So finally, get to the end, and then it, it flex. This is the upward give or, or flexibility of, of, of the uh, leather or the backing you up and so well, instead of now going this way I will move the abrasive the abrasive can go slide along 
keep on sliding and then bend and go away. Again, it turn it bend and go only after they go half at least about half the face of the abrasive behind it because they are blocking. So they don't really they cannot bend, but because they bend way out here, so they go like so, like so. So this abrasive here, the one that we don't want, is away from the edge. And so over time you can get rubbing, but you mainly work on this. So the amount of pressure you change is how much you want to bend in flex this point. The more you put it, it don't really matter that much because even though you might put a huge amount of pressure, the inflection point, it might move a tiny bit closer to the edge, but never, or not never, but you know, some random small chance if you put ridiculous amount, let's say you know, 50 pounds of, um, of okay, you pound or, you know, instead of noon or something, you render so that until you have a failure of the back end or the failure of the whole edge itself because it's so much pressure downward onto this surface. But if you use normal up to a few pounds, but normal strap you usually have a pound, but the lighter you go, that means the lighter abrasion here, that's all. But if you have the harder you, more pressure, you get rubbed all along here harder. But you don't round this pointy edge. You refine it, and which again, but one you get too small, and if the the stick instead of say that was 14 micron, now you go down to something like if the stick is only a half a micron, like some of the chromium oxide that you start with, they get so small, and your leather and everything else is actually they get so close. The inflection is only now become a quarter micron, which is a lot closer to your edge. But your edge may be um, right here. It, it, it sharpness here may be half a micron, which is like a razor blade. Even that, the inflection is just too close, and the tumbling particle going to impact it somehow, and will dull it. You see, and anyway. That's why when you use a fine abrasive, like diamond or everything else, really fine, it actually will curve up and will eat right into them. The abrasive will eat right into your edge. And effectively, you uh, become like you become like a sharpening your, or more like you sharpening your blade like that. Think of this one as a fixed abrasive now, really fixed and hard. It's essentially, you cut it off. Therefore, you need something big enough to protect the edge. Thank you for watching.